Hi, it's Mark from Custom Cruises with our mini Arctic. Okay, very cool bit of kit, as you can see. It's our Custom Cruises, truck, drag specialties, all that we used to do, Irish plates, private plates. Now all this opens out to give you the full width of the trailer. Okay, so you've actually got from here, this pivots here, fully opens out to here, which I believe was uh, 85 inches wide. Now originally, these ramps hooked on here and basically you had a wooden box went in there, a wooden box in front. And what happened, the Ferraris or race cars went up these ramps, you know, really long, because obviously Ferraris and that are very low. And they basically sat on top of big wooden um, wheel arches there. The front was actually Lord Brockett's workspace and tool bit. You know, you, you, where all your spanners and stuff are. From what I've been told, there was a winch as well, apparently. But uh, this particular thing, 500 and, what's that? 17 foot. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me, 17 foot three is pretty enormous inside and the actual usable bit between the wheel arches if you like which is what I'd say is more important than the, the width to the outside if you're not going to use the ramp system as originally used you are looking which is a bit awkward so wheel arch to wheel arch you can take all this stuff out you're looking, what, 2.1 metres, we'll cover it easy. Okay, the height inside is pretty enormous actually. Height inside to the top of there, which if you're going to insulate it like I have on my other trailer, winterise it is 82 inch or 2.1 metres. Roll the shutter obviously goes up in the back step comes out down there this is our um where you let your batteries go and stuff you've got 240 volt that's on a trip okay but this is basically where we store first aid kit all that kind of gear and two leisure batteries went in there now you've also got 12 volt charging usbs well not usbs fag lighters you've got 240 volt 12 volt lights you've got extensions um on proper sockets going outside these were for the Haynes manuals when we sold them. These are all our spares, you know, all our stuff behind here. In these cupboards for stock. And underneath, as you can see, these were those metal trays, which all slot into here. Okay, so these are metal trays. But uh, cracking bit of kit. So you've got, that's your first bit. And you living accommodation is that? Two meters, six foot six. Okay. And uh, this is the fifth wheel. This is your main electrics, which come in here from outside and go both sides. You see that goes to the other side. So you've actually got 240 volt or 110 as well on both sides. And these are all your trips. Okay. You can see just how big this thing is. Now, this center line basically metal brackets hook in here. And we used to carry two Honda Goldwings plus all the spares. So it's a pretty serious bit of kit that I designed here. These will obviously come out. You can unbolt them. But if you're going to winterize it, it'd be ideal to just put slabs in here of polystyrene. Um, obviously, we used it for trade. You put slabs of polystyrene and then put a wooden floor on top. But uh, this was a ramp for disabled people that we used to have. And you can see going up into the top of here. Okay, I've got the window open because there's a bit of damp. Obviously, with winter, we couldn't leave that open. But uh, again, this is more, um, you know, this here is all your stuff for, for selling. Okay, you know, all your drawers go in here. So you've got drawers, sat and lav dish, God help us. This is where all your invoice books went, all your stuff, American Express stuff to do. And basically, here's your tray. This had all your brochures in different bikes. And they would all be in here. And then you've got this beautiful wooden, really, really old. Um, this is our, our shop, actually, because the shop counter was so huge. This is part of our shop counter. But this is antique. And uh, I'll say this in here, you can make it into a nice sleeping area or a kitchen area, you know. But you can see the quality of this thing. It's all aluminium. 
okay, it's not cheap, modern, galvanised crap like they make things out of nowadays. And obviously being aluminium, the whole thing's very, very light, okay. But all this could be ripped out completely and done however you like. But I say in our case, this was a display in here. We had the fan going, you know, it was hot. Did all the bike rallies. These are 240. We've also got 12 volt here as well. These are your vents, okay, which I'm leaving open now to actually get some fresh air in because it's pretty damp, as you can see. But uh, don't think it's going to be any more snow. We'll have to have a see. But uh, amazing bit of kit, very, very well built. Next year, by the way, this is the cab unit if it's needed. If you were to buy the whole thing with a cab, this is actually exempt for an MOT. It's also got a Rover V8 in it with an auto box, which we had fitted at vast expense, I'm not kidding you. But that Rover V8 pulls like a freight train. And you know, when you're reversing an Arctic, when you go on auto, it is a hell of a lot easier. I can assure you from experience um, of not driving proper Arctics, but you know, a manual trying to lift the clutch and go backwards is really awkward. But uh, beautiful bit of kit, like I say, here's the rock and roll bed. This actually makes into a bed or a settee which I was going to put in. Um, it's all ready to be fitted. Sleeping bag on it. We have used this, like I say. Table, that thing actually goes on top of that in there. Gives you like a work area where that rolly thing is with the wheels. Okay. And I say these are all cupboards for storage. Spare wheel, obviously. That could go back here. Jack, all the original stuff that came with it. Roll the shutter door, very secure. All, all alley, steel door, but the rest aluminium. But uh, cracking bit of kit, as you can see. The shelf obviously folds away. Need some new rear lights, which is not a problem. They still make these sort of things. And uh, you can see just how big this thing is. This is some of the crap I'm gonna dump. But uh, it says custom cruises on it. Very easy to get these off with this sticker away that I've used before. Good quality wheels and that. Do the brakes upgrading a bit. That was a problem we always had. But I've got some proper feather like brakes, much bigger electric brakes these were electric but they were never very cool not very good at all standard for you know the sort of 80s but uh, handbrake on it as you can see power sockets on the outside so we've got 240 volt there this other side if we can see it <coughs> has got the awning rail enormous great awning massive goes on here trio king and again power sockets on this side so you've got power in the dry you've got 240 volt 12 volt inside as well um, what more could you want, to be honest with you? So it's 01773 customcruises.com or the new site, customcruises.eu. Ideal for a toy haul. If you've got a gold wing or a bike or even a kit car would fit in here and you could live in it, literally travel around the world in it and save you having a proper Arctic. Okay, this can be driven on a car license, you see. But uh, if you're interested, give us a call. 01773 customcruises.com or the new site, customcruises.eu. Look at my other YouTube videos of my other trailer, the Featherlight as well. But this is the Bedford CF. Fifth wheel bolts on there. And pulls this piece of cake with a V8, okay? The V8's now taken out. Nothing wrong with it. Just the bodywork wants doing on this. You know, could do with a damn good refurb, which my mate Nigel, no doubt, will be doing. Simon, I should say. Okay, thank you.